Hey guys, my name is Johnny from Lulu's and today we're going to be talking about the most problematic piercing we get asked about. The most problematic piercing we get asked about is the belly piercing and Lord knows the amount of questions you get asked about this every single day and it's time to make a video to answer everyone's questions. The first topic we're going to talk about is rejection. What is it and why do people use that word so often? Rejection is when the jewelry is slowly pushing out of the body. Just because your skin's red and irritated doesn't always mean it's rejection. It's a possibility, but when you notice it's a little bit red, don't really worry about it. Only when the jewelry is slowly pushing out of the body is when you should be worried about a rejection. The second thing I want to talk about is bad quality or low quality jewelry. A lot of times you get so many videos and pictures of a really bad, ugly, low quality jewelry that you can tell is just very cheap and very gross. And all they gotta do is just take that jewelry out, put some good quality in, and it just solves the problem. And that's all you gotta do is just change it to a better quality, either 14 karat gold or titanium, and there you have it, you solve the problem. Last topic I wanna touch on is false alarm. And what I mean by false alarm is, uh, a lot of times clients will send us videos or photos of their piercing one or two weeks into it, and they'll freak out so easily about a little bit of redness and irritation, and a lot of times it's not really a big deal. You do gotta realize that piercing does take four to five months to fully heal. So you just wanna not freak out, just keep it clean, don't touch it, leave it alone, and things should turn out really well for you. If you have low quality jewelry and you're looking for an upgrade, visit lulosbodyjewelry.com right now or click the link in the description section below. Mm -hmm.